That's exciting. I know. Look at you, man. New and approved. That's awesome. Lunch with Chewy. Hello, wow. hello, Chewy's Cantina. Welcome to lunch. Hope you come hungry today. Yes, we got all kinds of cool things we're doing. Of course, we got some uh, some nice goodness, Star Wars goodness, as well as some DC goodness, and whoever knows what else. I'm joined today, you probably already heard his voice, the legendary Steve Glosson is with us. I don't know that I'm legendary, well, but you know. It's not good legend. Uh, well, it's like Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. You kind of see me every now and again. Oh, that's true. And I'm he... excited Lunch with Chewy's back, because yeah. this was kind of a good time for us to hang out yes, and stuff. this is where it all began, really. Um, you know, we started, well, we did some other stuff, the cargo sales back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So when I first invited you, and I was mm -hmm. like, who's this guy? And right, and then and I you messed everyone Opened up. your mouth, and we we're like, holy moly, the everybody. knowledge that this yeah. guy has. So, uh, Guys, we are using uh, OBS today, so there may be a little bit of a delay on stuff. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way here. All kinds of things are in view. Uh, but so that there'll be a delay, a lag, extra lag. So as you throw up comments and stuff like that, we may be a little slow to respond. So I'm going to take a peek. Oh, man, look at all this. Holy hey, everyone. moly. Hello, Jim. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Derek. Hey, Ricardo. Hey, Matt. Why did your countdown start? I don't know. That thing's going crazy. Hey, Edward. What's up, Thor? Man, that's it. That's right. The Goliverse legend is with us oh, today, yeah. Edward. Who says that? Edward uh, Branscom. So, oh, hey, Ed. Hope I'm saying that right, brother. So, uh, But yeah, we are uh, excited to be hanging out with you today. Hopefully you uh, are snacking, eating a little lunch today. Uh, with us. Uh, so, that being said, we have a new thing that we're doing. Uh, it's called the Mystery Lunch Game. All right, the Mystery Lunch Game. And for that, we are asking you... Okay, first off, let me tell you this. Uh, Steve and I were hanging out here in the Star Wars dungeon, and I've already selected a winning lunch today. All right? So, we, what you need, we need to do right now is put in the comments what you're eating for lunch or what you plan to eat for lunch today. You only get one entry, and after a few moments, we'll allow those to come in, and then I'll reveal the lunch we've chosen. And you'll be going home with, or actually we'll be sending to your home, a vintage collection uh, Sith Jet Trooper from Rise of Skywalker. Uh, I realize it's got a condition issue here. I just saw that. But it's still going to come to you free. No shipping, all that stuff. Uh, we'll throw it in your box if you've got a box, or send it to you if you just don't have anything. So... Throw in your comments uh, what you're having for lunch today, and then we will uh, we we will uh, reveal what we're doing or what we chose. <laughs> I'm not eating either right now. We're so just... it's like match game. Yeah, it's yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> so we'll go with that. All right, let's see. I'll check up on the ham and cheese. Okay, Jim's in at ham and cheese. Uh, Matt had a... well. Let me back up. Let's go where we first see him coming in. Uh, for those that can't, you're right, Matt. This is a great consolation prize for those that can't go to ICC. That's right. That's this weekend, isn't it? That's it. That's it. So it is a great console. Oh, so, all right. Jaime's in at spaghetti and chicken parmesan. Dude. Matt had grilled and cheese with cinnamon? Yeah. With his kids. Hey, everything's great with your kids. Disgusting. Cinnamon. All right. Uh, let's see. Jim. All right. We already said his ham and cheese. <laughs> Ricardo coffee. Chewy on rye for Sandy. I right? wish I had some coffee. All right, Chris is on tacos uh, in honor of uh, Shane. <laughs> Eduardo is on pizza. Derek's a fried chicken. Edward Brands Ooh, these cookout are... shorted me a barbecue sandwich last night. Need to go back for that. So I'm going to take his barbecue sandwich. Um, so while we're waiting on those last comments, come... Steve, show them what you're working on. Oh, I'm just over here. How can I get in the... Oh, yeah, let's get where you know. can actually see. There we go. There we go. Lucas are. has me just kind of sitting here piddling around, and I'm just over here like posing She-Hulk, basically. <laughs> so I'm I'm just kind of like doing some fun things. And while we talk, like this is her like muscled up pose. Yeah. You know, like Hulk Hogan kind of pose. <laughs> I, I should do a Hulk Hogan. Let do me the see. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Let me see if I can. Or oh, that was more. Was that, that was more Macho Man, wasn't it? When I said that. Macho was like, yeah. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Little brother. How about <laughs> that? There you go. There's the Hulk Maniac pose. Yeah. Nice. So <laughs> she Hulk Maniac. Yeah. I knew in order to get you to come here, I have to give Marvel Legends for you to play with. Dude, like, no, I, I, <laughs> no. I, I, let's be honest. You told me you were doing this. I'm like, I can come. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> when do I need to be there? Yeah, hey, what? when do you want me there, man? Oh, I hear you, brother. It's always fun hanging mm. out. All right, so throw our nice graphic up there. Look back. All right, so we got any more? Oh, Thor comes in. Chicken salad. Mm -hmm. All right, veggies and brown rice. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say no to those last two things. <laughs> chicken salad? Are you Do y'all realize Arby's has crinkle cut fries now? Dude, do you think I'm going to have chicken salad? Have you had them? No. They're legit. Oh. <laughs> 
They are legit. So much for losing weight. That's right. All right, all right. So we're back. So we're going to make the reveal. The mystery lunch. This is ridiculous. This was predetermined or pre-chosen <laughs> not to get too theological. I was here when it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, before. It was, before mystery lunch. It. The winner, ham and cheese. The and elect. That, yeah, the ham and cheese is the elect. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Jim. Jim Lomick, you got wow. it, man. That's Look amazing. at this. Like, he just right out of the gate I mean, was like. There was ham no, and how about it, maybe? No, yeah. he knew that that's what it was. Congratulations, Jim. We'll be sending this your way, brother. This will be coming your way. So You got Manny Faces? Yeah, yeah, that's the vintage one over there. Oh, really? That yeah, was one of my faves yeah, yeah. back in the day. Sorry, got, we're, we're getting I've lost in the, the toilet. I've got the origins <laughs> on the way. So, all right, so we are here. You're here for uh, some goodies as well as to hang out with us on your lunch break or just want to spend just some quality time with your your uh, cantina friends. So we're glad to be bringing you some fun today um, here in the Star Wars Dungeon. I'm ready to grab what you want me All to right, grab. Steve, get for us, if you will, All get right. us that Spawn figure. Okay, spawn figure. we're going to start with Spawn. So some of you uh, have probably noticed uh, we've been posting some photos. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Is that pretty good? There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's squabbly. We've been posting some photos. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't mind. Thank you. Um, Post some photos from a buddy of ours here in town that came into a collection. He's he's kind of a mover and shaker of things, and he was selling off pieces of it. And this was in there's a lot of Spawn stuff. So if you're into Spawn, reach out to me. He has a lot of stuff from the 90s. Condition has some condition issues, as does this one. Uh, but this is a, this is an opener. Yeah, this I is mean, an like opener. Reals. There is another. The clamshell seems to be intact. There is another. It's in better shape, I think. Um, but kind of give you an idea on this. Uh, but this is the medieval spawn. I'm not a big spawn guy. I don't know a lot. Maybe some of you guys know more. I know Jim uh, Arcudi knows it quite a bit, and he kind of helped me. Mm. Uh, but you, you see, kind of the stuff on the back giving you uh, what's going on. All pretty much all these pieces are in this collection. So if you see something there that you've been looking for. Uh, let us know. McFarland's Toys. What did we decide? Circa 1998? Uh, 94. 94. Mm -hmm. Wow. Year I graduated I high school. Wow. How about junior that? junior looking to graduate. I was hating yeah. on all you seniors. Yeah, that's right, Jim. You got it. That's right. All right. So, uh, again, reminding the lag. So, if you're interested in this, we're uh, saying 10 bucks on this. So, starting at 10 bucks, just throw out your comments there. I would encourage you, you know, whether you're interested in this or not, or whatever item, go ahead and you know, shoot your best shot out there because it, there is a bit of a delay. Yeah. Um, we don't want you to, you know, reveal all the all the secrets, but at the same time, know that it could take up to 40 seconds for your thing to show up on our side. Uh, but if you're interested in this, start it at $10. Again, this is the medieval throne. So we're not doing the timer thing. No, it's just too hard with mm, this. And, with the you know, and if there's no interest, then we just move on. Yeah. So, uh, But the clamshell is intact, but it does have some conditioning. It's got a lot of dust. Uh, but it's a cool figure for 10 bucks. Uh, medieval spawn posable action figure plus special edition comic book. So you get that special comic book, uh, but a lot of spawn stuff. So if you're into collecting spawn, oh, uh, oh Lucas is here. Somebody. Wow, I heard an echo. An echo. Hey, 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 hey. So, we'll wait another moment. If not, we'll move on from this. All right, Edward, Eduardo Martins is in at spawn. Thanks at ten dollars. We'll wait just a little bit more, buddy. If we don't get any competition, it'll be yours. Um, I think everybody here has hung out with us before in the cantina or something. Right. Uh, but for some reason, you haven't, and I'm not seeing you, uh, your comments here or whatever. Uh, if you win something, make sure you send me your PayPal email and your shipping address so we can get an invoice to you. Try to get those out this evening and then get shipped either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, so we look for the most cost-effective route to go with that. So, All right, to wait just another moment or so. But I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, we're hanging out, like I said here, and uh, just kind of absorbing. Were the, you ever into Spawn when all this went down? Not really. I, never I know was. you were kind of a comic book guy. Yeah, kind of. I watched the movie. Yeah, that was about it. Yeah, that I was, was not great. It. Yeah, I was like, ooh, this kind of creepy. Um, so I just remember like McFarlane was all over Spider Man. Like right. that was the thing, and he ended up publishing. You know, you had Amazing Spider Man and Spectacular Spider Man and Web of Spider Man, and he ended up publishing. Um, <laughs> he he left Marvel for whatever reason and took several creators with him, you know. Right. And they formed Image. And here comes Spawn. I remember seeing Spawn on the shelf for the first time. And um, I was like, oh, so it's Spider-Man. Yeah. So I'm going to call it for Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Shane so. says, give me them tacos. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's Mr. Taco. It's not even Tuesday. We're sorry, Shane. We didn't mean to bring it up. I know it's a sore spot. All right, let's go with the uh, Rondo and Jawa. Can you get to that for me, buddy? I sure can. Steve's doing a great job of uh, getting the inventory here off to the side. So Power of the Force. Yes, 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 yes. So Power of the Force, Rondo and Jawa. Still in the box. It's, it's a dirty box. Let's just be honest. Dirty box. So it's got a little dust on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you know, wipe it off a little bit. But we'll leave you to do that. Dirt, so. dirt, Free dirty dirt. box. <laughs> okay. Dirty box. Ronda with just tape still intact. Both sides. Okay. Let's see. Got a price sticker from KB Toys. $17.99. Got a special special edition Star Wars trilogy. And notes it there. So look at this. All right. We're going to start this at 12. So go ahead and throw your offers in there at 12. Yeah, I did rearrange a little bit Buster a um, while back and had the table like in the middle of the room. Buster's been here to see it, but I screwed it a little bit different so we can get back here and have a little fun. And awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a really cool setup. Yeah, so we can... Uh, maybe... Derek's in at 12. All right, I knew you would be, Derek. I figured this is going on a diorama. That is, it is a fantastic so. little piece. I mean, like, look, it's Power of the Force. It's right around 97. It's the time of the special edition. It is... Um, it, it's it's right in line with that... With that style that was going on then right. and it was new like this was a new creature when this I, like you know that's like, right it, it was, was yeah yeah so this is uh this is uh, so okay. it's really a piece of history and it comes with the jawa yeah, it does come with the jawa kind of funny i would put the preview photo up and uh uh all right Derek's still in at 12 we'll wait a little bit um but i would put the preview photos up and adam uh bray comment is like i love this piece except my cat took away the jaw oh wow wow <laughs> so, i was like hopefully you're is the jawa different can i see it real quick? oh yeah sure. is the Take jawa it. different than what was on a card on the uh, power of the force card but i've got I can't a bunch really of tell. them over yeah. there uh, i'm sorry i can't no, really you're tell. good you're good all right uh yeah. so let's see looks like it's gonna be Derek. So we're gonna give it to Derek for 12 Derek for 12 i know this is gonna find a good home and uh, Derek, you have an obligation you have to post, and I'll keep talking to the computer like you're over here. There's the camera. Right. <laughs> you have to post <laughs> photos. I want you to put that in your uh, uh, deal, uh, diorama and where you're going to place it. So Derek is a seasoned veteran of buying uh, buying stuff here with us. So I want to lunch with Chewy. All right. Derek has some has a great collection oh, and yeah. a great setup. You guys, if you haven't checked out Derek's group Oh, over, Matt just came in late at 13. Oh, man. Sorry, oh, Matt. Sorry, Matt, Matt. the delay. Sorry, buddy. Maybe we should have a ton. Yeah, well, it's I hard with the delay and all that stuff. Yes. All right, we're just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm on crackers. Sometimes it's not good. Uh, so where was that with this? There was something I don't know I'm what you, Oh, Derek's great collection. Oh yes. So, Facebook <clears throat> page he has called Collective Empire. I encourage you to check that out. Uh, you get a really good insight in some of his setups mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's really cool. I think I'm a little off today because I had the second round of the shot yesterday. Oh, really? I had the part two of the vaccine. Nice. So, Well, we're all safe then. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're safe. I'm safe. Uh, when I was teaching this morning, though, I was in a mental fog. I was trying mm. to put pieces together. I don't know what I told those students. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably lose my job. Okay. Let's go with uh, Vintage Collection Anakin Skywalker. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Vintage Collection Anakin Skywalker. Oh. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, then over here. Up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The Clone was... Wars? Yeah. yeah. Clone Wars one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Vintage collection, Anakin Skywalker, VC ninety two. This is obviously from the reissue that just came mm -hmm. out. Was it last year? No, it's been yeah, it's been in the past several months, past six yeah. eight months. So good shape. Give you a look at the card. All right. But here, nice you know, yeah, I guess. Here's the. Th I don't know. I'll just shut up. Okay. <laughs> Look, okay, he can't. When it comes to these vintage collection, <laughs> we're starting things, this at fifteen. Starting at fifteen. I understand that you know it's the same as like doing a, doing like a. Is it a twelve back? Is it a thirty six back? Whatever the case may be. Look, this is what matters right here to me is the front of the card. Right. right. I don't care about what's on the back and everything. I like the way it displays there with just the front. So, fifteen is the retail, and that's a great price to start. And it's a good. It's a cool figure. The Anakin and the Obi Wan both are very cool figures. Uh, Clone Wars style done up realistically. Yeah, it looks great. Um, so we've got the Obi-Wan here in a moment, but uh, 15 on this if you're interested. Um, starting price. So go ahead and put those in the comments. Uh, card's in great shape. It's case fresh. Uh, once I received that, it just kind of stayed in there. 
really honestly with my collection i'm focusing on the original trilogy taking a page out of your book right, honestly because yeah. uh, i know you've got a great collection yours is nice and displayed on the wall and, yeah uh, mine's just kind of hidden over there in the corner and all that stuff it's on the pegs though i like it I yeah like i it. wish i had a different way to do that yeah though. well i mean look the what is the bane of all collectors is how we run out of space like right two objects can it's physically impossible for two objects to occupy the same space at the same time so right. We have to uh, we have to do what we can do, but um, you get you pulling science into this. Thank you. You're just a learned man. <clears throat> Who is the mystery voice? Hello, Sandy. I'm Steve. The Steve Glosson coming to you live. <laughs> what's now? What's let me back up just a minute while Anakin's on the screen. You've been calling your. I listened to the most recent podcast. Mm -hmm. Have you always called your uh, your recording studio this? Whatever you call the it? Wilbur Heath Memorial Studio. <laughs> yeah, what's no, this? I have not. <laughs> was that <clears throat> is that a first? Mm -hmm. It was good. I liked it. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Nobody. Nobody in. Nobody's on this? after the Anakin. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. That's a great figure. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go a different direction then. Oh, you don't want to go ahead and throw yeah, the companion piece Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead there. and do his partner up there. Throw the companion piece. Yes, the companion piece of Obi Wan Kenobi. Hi, Sandy. Obi Wan Kenobi. All right. Uh, again, case fresh. Uh, right out of the right out of the case. It's twenty. We're starting him at twenty. All right. Um, did some, some price shopping just to see where we're at. They're going for a lot more than $20. Um, so I guess this is, is this the first issue of, of Obi-Wan like this though? No, he had that in the he original, the the original okay. run. Yeah. So this is VC 103. I think um, he did. I, I thought they did a Obi-Wan like in this version on the original, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I was thinking this may be a first time for him, okay. but I, but I could be wrong. So one I of us is wrong. One of us is wrong. But neither one of us is going to die on that hill. That's true. I'm not going to so, fight you. No, over I'm this. not going to fight you over no, it either, no, unless it just not. comes to it. All right. So, 24, the Obi Wan Vintage Collection. Obi Wan gets smacked in the face by a mystery voice. You keep it up. That's, woo! <laughs> not many people can brag about being smacked by a mystery voice. Hmm. So, but and you'll do them both for 40, right? Anakin and Obi Wan for 40. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. I'll do them both for 40. Both for 40. Both for 40. 20 for Obi-Wan. Starting him at 20, Kevin. So, thank you. Or we'll do him and... Uh, we'll, we'll do him and Anakin for 40. Yeah, both of them together. I'm not mistaken. A couple of weeks ago, Chewie's Cantina. I think maybe Shane had both of them sold them both for 50. Wow. All More power to Shane. Kevin's man. in at 20. All right, thank you, Kevin. So, so Kevin's in at 20. We'll give it, let it marinate there just for a moment. Uh, I know with the, uh, the lag and the, the broadcasting is, is part of it. I apologize, the snowball's in view here, so but it's our little microphone. How does it sound? Yeah, how does it sound? I guess I could have popped in some <laughs> earbuds and listened. Huh? Uh, oh, wow. Well. Let me do that. Let me... Let the, me do, uh, why don't you do that? As long as you can hear me hear you. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Crikey. All right, you got Kevin him, Kevin. Kevin will take both for 40. All right, thanks, Steve. Should Kevin, we be Kevin. honest with Kevin right now? Oh, yeah, Kevin. We were just being silly. The other one was... uh. Fifteen. We'll give them both to you for thirty-five. So we'll always be honest. So thirty-five to you, Kevin. So yeah, we had Anakin at fifteen, but he's in great shape too. I'll just show you. He's there. You go. There's the Anakin. Yeah, I, I feel bad when Kevin's like, "I'll do both for 40 <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. So, I'm nice. sorry, Kevin. I didn't want to. Derek says we're nice and clear. So yeah, I'm hearing it right now. It really does sound good. Oh, good. Well, how yeah. about that? Who would have known a snowball could be so helpful? All right. Thank you, Kevin. Well, let's go with... Uh... Yeah, it does actually sound really good. That's, I mean, it's got a good sound. Let's go, <clears throat> let's go Bruce Wayne. Let's do the Bruce Wayne. Okay. Uh-oh, I, I, I need to mute this. Is that the one that you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's the okay. one. This is, in my opinion, a super cool piece. Okay? Look at this. Look at it. It's amazing. Batman the Animated Series. Yes. The, this, what is this, circa 1992? Uh, let's see if you're right. And you are correct. Really? 1992. Nice. Kenner. Mm -hmm. Kenner, Batman Animated Series, Bruce Wayne action figures. Gotham City is under siege. Bruce Wayne sees the back signal in the sky. Batman emerges quickly with special snap-on armor. Powerful hand weapon, mask, and cape. Not snap-on armor. Yeah, look at that. I remember having this. Uh, I actually oh, really? may have been my brother's, but I played with it <laughs> as a teenager. But it was so super cool. 
but we'd steadily lose pieces of the armor. So there are some condition issues with it, as you can see. Okay, it's got a little bit of a bend there, but the bubble appears to be sealed and intact. Um, maybe starting to come up a little bit right here. Maybe. All right. Again, like most of these pieces, this is from our, our buddy's collection. I can see the corners here. Uh, this is starting at 25. Feel free to check out on uh, eBay. These are really expensive. Oh, really? Yes, wow. really expensive. Uh, 50, 60, 70 dollars. Nice. Um, but there, like I said, there's some condition issues, and plus, you know, we're in the canteen and trying to pass along some cool pieces at good prices. We're here to we're here to kick the prices down. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Let's see if we can get good shot. Oh, ah, got, there uh, you go. Her I was on the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Her balance. We fell. need one of your stands here that you've been working on. Yeah. So. Bruce Wayne in disguise, twenty five bucks. Here we are. Honestly, I, I think I've fallen in love with this piece. Really, I really like this piece. So you're kind of hoping it doesn't sell. Well, I don't want to say that because it's from our buddy Lamar and his collection, and he may be tuning in with us. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I may find a home for it if it doesn't find a home today. Hey, what's up, Neil? One of our friends from up north. Good to see you, brother. But twenty five, starting this guy out at twenty five. Uh, awesome piece. Does have some condition issues. But again, you feel free to check on uh, the eBay if you're a DC collector. Uh, you'll see um, how that goes. You know, on that note, um, we'll kind of leave that, let that marinate. Go ahead and give us that lot uh, of uh, Bane and, uh, who is it, Raz al Ghul. We'll stay on that same page and pass oh, along wow. if we're going to pass along. And look at those. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. So this is the animated adventures of Batman and Robin, Raz al Ghul. Okay. Um, give you a kind of look at that. Hopefully we're seeing everybody's comments. I noticed uh, that was an issue yesterday. I was watching Monty sale, mm. and me and Ricardo were going after the same comics, and I couldn't see his comments at all. Mm. Um, and he actually got them, but he was very gracious to pass the, the bargains on to me, which is a blessing. I appreciate that. I missed that sale. Right, I'm going to start sharing those with you when they show Please up. Please do. So there, the back of it. This is... Uh, okay, you want to take a guess on this? Adventures of Batman and Robin? Um... Mm, it, it's the Adventures of Batman and Robin, not Batman the Animated Series. Right. So, is that also circa 1992? No, this one's 95. Oh, wow. I, now, this one would be 94. I should have let you guess. This is Batman Animated Series. It's Bane. Okay. All right. Some condition issues of the card. You can see, it needs a good dusting. Um, but it is sealed. We're doing both of these a lot. Um, let's see, what did I say? 20. 20 for both of them. For Bane and Roz. Bane and uh, Roz Agul together. Two villains. How, how's the poll going, by the way, uh, between Spider-Man and Batman's Rogue Gallery? How's that going? Hey, Ricardo, see your test. I don't know when you did it, um, man. I, you know what? I, I'll tell you. Most people, it's it's still split down the middle. It's split. Um, but I saw on Instagram... Uh, it's a custom by Matthew. Customs by Matthew is, mm -hmm. is the Instagram title. M A T C H U, and he had a video just spanning his Spider Man shelf of like Marvel Legends. So it's like Spidey and different versions of Spidey, right. but also his Rogues Gallery there. Mm -hmm. And as you just kind of walk through and you see who all's in it, like from the big dogs down to the, you're like, wow, this is quite the impressive. So I mean, like honestly, out of all comic book heroes, it's Batman and Spider Man have the best Rogues Galleries. I mean, I, I that's don't, fair. Who else has a better yeah. one? It's hard to call, in other words. Yeah. So twenty for the lot here. Uh, what we'll probably do. Hey, Ricardo. It, no more comments coming in there. So what do you you guys measure in? What do you think? Best rogue gallery: Spider Man or Batman or a draw? So go ahead and make your comments. That way we can kind of see if if you're hearing us. And uh, and you say Batman. I think Batman because I think it's honestly familiarity. Right. I'm more familiar with Batman. I'm more familiar with the DC properties. Sure. Now, granted, with Marvel Studios, it's brought Marvel more into my life. Right. And a good friend like you, mm -hmm. as you play with She-Hulk. I'm you sorry. I need to stop. No, you're fine. If, that's a really cool... I like that pose. That's a good... Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and show them the pose. Them the oh, okay. Well, this is just her kind of like standing there ready to fight. Like yeah. That's a cool pose. Yeah. All right. Well, last call on these guys. All right. Spy oh, Ricardo's Batman. RJ is uh, Spider-Man. Ricardo put up Batman for sure. So mm. that tells you he's a DC guy too. Batman, um, Neil says Batman is more iconic, but Spidey is a close number two. Mm, keep measuring in. All right, we'll take these guys off the board. So what we're gonna do now? We've got more items. Okay, we're just taking a little, uh, a little break. One of the features that we have on our lunch with Chewy uh, moving forward is, as you guys know, in the cantina, uh, Jim Arcudi is uh, 
you know, a big part of the cantina, one of our admins and everything. But he's also, and I know some of our other guys are too, uh, he's also a um, Entertainment Earth wholesaler. And he has all kinds of product. Um, so if you are looking for some pieces uh, for your collection, let's kind of throw these up here. He has this Black Series in stock. Um, so these are case fresh, new in the package. You've got the armor, Moff Gideon, Grief Karga, Quill, Ray, the Dark Side Vision. Uh, if you're needing one of these, uh, they're 20 bucks um, each. So if you're needing one of those, just go ahead and put that in the comments and we pass that along to Jim and he ships it straight to you. There are limited quantities, so we can't you know just run on all these, but uh, if there's one of those that you're needing, go ahead and put that in the comments if you want to claim it and then uh, Jim will take care of you. So uh, again, these are case fresh, new in package. I know they look loose in the photo or are loose in the photo. The armor, Moff Gideon, Grief Cargo, Quill, or Dark Side Vision Ray. Dark Side Vision Ray is pretty cool. Is she? Yeah, that's the only Black Series I think I have from... From Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, yeah. Um, but do they make any more from Rise of Skywalker? I, I guess they did. They have. Yeah, Jim's the best for sure. She weighed in with Batman. The answer is yes, Jim says. What is this shipping for him? Uh, he's really good at getting you a good rate. He uses Shippo or GoShippo.com. Um, usually for one Black Series, I'm probably saying, you know, probably five, six. Upwards of maybe seven bucks. Depending sure. on where you're at. Yeah, he's shipping from Chicago. Sure. He yeah, he does a really good job. Yeah. Man. He's a he's a great shipper. Most of you guys that are that are hanging out with us today are familiar with Jim's stuff. So uh, yeah. So you know that. Uh, if you want to claim it, just go ahead and put that in the comments and then we'll get you up to snuff. So that was part one of our Chewy's warehouse feature. But now let's return to what we got on hand. All How right. about that? So Let's do. Let's go ahead and do that, Captain Rex. He's right on the shelf, right there, buddy. Straight. Oh, this ahead. one here. Yeah, that one. Ooh. Yeah, Captain Rex. <laughs> so, go ahead and tell you starting a seventy on him. Seventy. All right. Yeah. So seventy. Uh, you can check online right now. They're going for an excess of a hundred dollars. Jaime wants a ray. All right. So Jaime, you want a ray? Thank you. All right. I got you, buddy. Thanks for catching that, Steve. I'm trying to be a blessing. You are a blessing and not a bother. Thank so, you. so here he is, uh, Captain Rex, excess of $100 on eBay right now. Um, I bought this as, I originally had it sold, all this stuff. I bought this as a part of a collection a little while back. Um, and I said, I'll move it along. So here it is. It does have, you know, on the corners, got a little rub there. You can see that. There we go. This is a good little camera, too. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Um, but he's sealed in the package. Um, has there been any talk about Rex coming out in the new packaging? Have you know? No, I've not. I've not heard anything. I mean, I about know. It. Obviously, we got uh, Cody and Hasbro the, will leave people hanging. Like Hasbro, yeah. Hasbro's like, oh, you didn't get it. Sorry. Yeah. And then in ten years, when nobody cares anymore, they'll be like, hey, we're re-releasing this <laughs> Black like, Series archive. Oh, I know we yeah. got the Cody just recently come out, which he's. Uh, I've saw him, got him in the store, but haven't seen him since. And I'm seeing prices online kind of go up. Uh, so. Rex is at 70. Uh, if you want to start uh, start with him, uh, Captain Rex at 70. How are we doing on time? Mm -hmm. um, wow, just 30 we've minutes. We've been going, in? yeah, for just about 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, so it's 23 minutes. Here Hopefully, you joined us from the beginning. Uh, we've got a, kind of a, a neat intro we're working on. We're trying to make yeah, this more episode. Really cool. So, that being said, as, as that kind of marinates, um, we are going to try to increase. increase. Have mm. you ever heard of increasing? I have. Increasing means. That you're, it's a crocheting term. Oh, okay. Yeah, and when you increase something, you're actually twisting your knots around to make the form of a uh, a, a fish. Oh, yeah. that makes sense completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for enlightening us, Steve. We're so thankful you're here today. So, <laughs> Captain Rex, we are uh, trying to increase our, our YouTube presence and stuff. So, this episode of Lunch with Chewy, even though there is obviously the live components, will be available later. Uh, online so keep that in mind and there's other things maybe in the works uh so we'll we'll keep you in the loop on that all right he's she's mine get away okay what, talking about oh, ray oh do, do you want one one hand Ugh, do you want one zohan we've got more so i think he's making a oh i say i want a ray i gotcha all right well if you want one zohan we've got another so all right so any love for rex at 70 if not we'll move on we will move on from there. So, I know it's pricey, guys, but at the same time, it's fair. You know, as we've talked about before, where the market's at. I know I paid more than retail for him, uh, honestly. Uh, so, 
I'm just trying to move him along at a fair rate. So, but here he is. All right, so let's go, Steve. Oh, you got it in the post. No, go ahead. Oh, you're good. No, I'm just messing uh, around. So we did skip that one. Uh, let's do the Star Destroyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a cool piece. This man, I remember seeing these on the shelves and and stuff. Look at this, man. Yeah, I know it's gonna get way back here. So this is the collector's edition, uh, an electronic Star Destroyer, sealed in the box, never been opened. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's got a price sticker, actually two on it from Toys R Us. The most one on the top says twenty two ninety nine. All right, Give you a little perspective here. Uh, on the back, it gives you what it looks like on the out or displayed. So it's got a base that comes with it and everything. Did you did you say you did or did not ever have one? I never had one. Okay. I just remember seeing them, and now you know you always do the trim yeah, thing, which obviously no, obviously doesn't nothing's work. Nothing's gonna anymore. work. No, right. nothing. Uh, sealing the package, oh, we're starting this at 50 Again, feel free to uh, check it online if you like. Um, but this is a really sweet piece. Uh, so, okay, Steve, let's just talk here. Mm -hmm. What do you call this? Do you call this modern Star Wars? Do you call this classic? Obviously, you don't call it vintage. No, no. What it's, do you call it? It's um, neoclassic. You know, here is... Let's do comic books. Let's go comic book stuff. It, and, and I saw this, I think, from Michael French from Retro Blasting. Is the original era of the original trilogy, 77 to 84, 85 ish, that could be called the golden age of Star Wars. Okay. From 92, 93, when the uh, Air of the Empire comes out and you begin to ramp up toward the, um, the special editions and the prequels and all. Till about probably two thousand six, seven ish, I would say that's the the silver age. Okay. And so this would be a silver age piece. Okay. Um, but is it nineties? It's ninety six. Uh, let's see. It is nineteen ninety. Yeah, ninety six. I believe. Ninety six. Yeah. And so it was during the time of the Power of the Force. Silver um, Age. Carter says as well. Yeah. It a modern was, classic. Yeah, modern classic. It, Jim's in at fifty. All right. We'll let it marinate there for a buddy. But you got it at fifty. It was on the shelf during the time of the Power of the Force, and it stood out because the packaging was so different. Now, Matt Medley asks, and I know we're just now getting the comments, guys. Is this is there any other larger scale this made, or is this the largest scale made? Outside of Lego. Oh, that's true. Lego. I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know. I wonder how big the Lego is. The, uh, the Lego, like, the Lego version, there's a, they've got a Lego Star Destroyer that'll fit on this table. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, there is, I just noticed there is just a little bit, and that looks like it may have been a price sticker or something, or maybe scuff right there, but it's still... Mint this box. is not. I don't think this takes up the space of like the vintage playset. You know, this is smaller, I think, than the vintage Star Destroyer playset. Okay. Um, but but as far as the actual look of a Star Destroyer, I don't know that there's anything that's been done that that's like this. That you know. Yeah. And this meant to be a display piece more than a play piece. <laughs> They're all saying Silver Age. That's that's me. Zohan, that's my hair color. <laughs> as long as it has, has the box. It's as long as the box, you're right. Uh, Neil says the Lego, that's right, Neil's got a lot of Lego, Lego stuff, is about four feet long. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's actually the executor, isn't it, Neil? Like, um, that's that's the Superstar Destroyer. I don't know. Um, you know, it looks like it's going to be yours, Jim. I wish um, I had a flight stand right now, because this is her just coming uh, at you. Oh, like, yeah, let's see it. Let's the leaping, get the leaping at you pose. Ah! Let's see. So nice. Um, you know, just as uh, Jim brought up about the uh, starter story, which looks like it's yours, buddy. No other competition there. Got it fifty. Thank you. Uh, we do have the blockade runner too at fifty. Uh, oh, really? It wasn't previewed, but if you're interested in that, let me know and I can show it to you if you're interested. If you want to see it, but I don't I'm know. Not... We had that. I yeah. saw someone. Yeah. Had something like that blockade runner. They were asking, was it in our group? They were asking what yeah, it was. Yeah, just put the year and everything like that on it. So. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and call that one for Jim. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Appreciate you, brother. So we'll we'll box up that Sith Trooper with him, with that that uh that uh okay, Star Destroyer for the pile. Um. Oh yeah. So I forgot he was over there. <clears throat> All right. So let's do. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Well, we've only really got two items left. Actually, three, but only two that are previewed. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do the Wampa and Tauntaun. They're actually behind you. I don't know if you can reach them. I may have to get them. There you go. You got one. Two. All right, so this is a vintage lot. 
Um, oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at the reins. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, this is uh, one of the better Tauntauns I've seen. It is a hard belly. Yeah, it's hard belly. Very white, very clean. Man, those reins are intact. Yeah, there's not even a crack. No. Uh -uh. You sometimes you'll see them intact with a crack. Now, he's on the other side. He's got some yellowing. The wampa does. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and show the wampa. If okay, you want, there's the wampa. I know that it's light a little harder to see. There's, yeah, there's that, definitely some yellow in yeah, there. There's on definitely his, yellowing on, on his head, which you can't really. So the the lot as you're looking at, we're just going to go ahead and tell you the lot is sixty for both, uh, which the the tauntaun easily is probably fifty bucks or so. So, um, but the lot is sixty. That tauntaun is in fantastic shape. So, uh, I can't get over um, the reins. Yeah, without them being being broken. Now. You know, legs. Why can I get him good. to stand up? I guess this one's got a little more give in that one. I have no problem with the wampa standing. Yeah, but yeah, the wampa does need some some cleaning. Got some discoloration issues here on the top and on the. There the is a video side. right now on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Where the where the lady is? Um, I saw where you just spray some stuff on your deal, and it, or is it like you disassemble and clean everything? I know you no, showed me one about the falcon. No, this this is um. Oh, what's her her handle? I'll I'll send everyone there in a minute. But she does she restores a wampa. Gotcha. And it, it there it is. How much for just the tom tom? Look how yellow that wampa is there. Wow, that is it. Yeah, and so through. Uh oh, I don't mean to. Uh oh, you guys are taking a conversation somewhere we don't want to go here at lunch with Chewy. Let's keep it family friendly, guys. Uh, just for the tom tom, um, we'll do um, we'll do forty five just for the tom tom because he's the better part of all this. So thanks for asking, Jim. So definitely the better part of it. Um, like I said, it is the, one of the better. Retro um, Geek Crafts. Yeah, retro, retro, geek, retro crafts. geek Crafts. Retro Geek Crafts. And the latest video is Star Wars Wampa Restoration and Whitening. And um, she, I, I assume it's she because it's a lot of my, my Little Pony stuff. Right. But she walks through whitening up, restoring a Wampa with basically a, a kind of a strong hydrogen peroxide um, situation. So anybody in on the pair at 60 or the Tauntaun itself at 45? Just go ahead and chime in there. We'll let that kind of sit for a moment. I'm, I'm tempted on that mask, dude, because, I mean, that and Tauntaun that, is great. It is in really good shape. Really good shape. Uh, when I got it, I was like, I, f I fully anticipated the uh, the saddle to be coming off and the reins to be broken. Sure. But, but it was not. So, All right, let's check on our comments here. Uh, I don't have any Beater Hoth. I was looking for him. All right, Eduardo's in at 60 for both. All right, thank you, Eduardo. So um, we'll let it sit for a moment, but it looks like you're going to get it, my friend. That is a, is a great deal. Uh, again, Wampa needs some work, some loving, but the Tauntaun looks, he's in great shape. So um, honestly, if I had had uh, some extra Hoth figures, I might have kept him myself, But um, but yeah. We'll let it sit there for a moment. I do have another piece that's not previewed. Is, is it over there? Steve? Is Eduardo, he's in at 60? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Got him down. What are you looking for? Um, oh, yeah, that's for sure, homie. Uh, do you see that ATSC over there? Is it over uh -huh. there? And all the pieces that come with it? Yeah. All right, so Eduardo, I'm going to call it for you, man. You got it at 60. Eduardo Martin. All right, so again, our buddy... Uh, Lamar's findings, you know, some of these pieces that are coming from the collection he's passing along. He had this, um, whatever we're calling it, Silver Age, Neo Classic, Power, Power of the Force 2. Power of the Force 2, um, Tauntaun. I mean, not Tauntaun, excuse me, ATST. Had it in the box, but the box was just ripped to shreds. The box was terrible. Yeah, the box yeah. was unsalvageable. So we opened the box and threw the box away. That was what was best. Mm -hmm. uh, and so here, here he is. Uh, fresh from the box. This is still sealed. Okay, this has never been opened. Those are that's his top hatch and gun and the bottom shielding plate. Yeah. So that's all there. Never been opened. Um, honestly, I was the and maybe I hope I didn't defile it, but I connected the legs. So, oh yeah, so yeah. They come that's unconnected. Right. They come unconnected. That's so, right. So it could at least stand. Also, here's the stickers. Okay, sticker sheet. I mean, it's got some uh, some oldness to it. Yeah. So uh, instruction manual. The Imperial ATST, the Walker Scout Walker. 
the and then the insert. Wow. Yeah. Now That's you what's can order cool. the Star Wars collectibles directly from Xanart Publishing. All right. So, uh, so this is all of the contents that were in the box. But again, the box was not salvageable. Right. It was in rough shape. Honestly, when I opened the box, I was surprised that this was okay. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, I've seen it, guys. He's not, he's not putting you on in any way. It, it was, it, it was tattered yeah. and in pieces. They, so, it would be it would be offensive to try to offer this yeah, with the box. Yeah. Oh yeah, the box is bad. So, but that being said, um, we're saying thirty bucks for this brand new right out of the box. You get to put the stickers on. Uh, you get to put the uh, first time put the hatch on the guns. <laughs> she Hulk's gonna drive it for you. Uh, you got the instructions or whatever you're gonna do with that. I know some as far as the what do they call the paper stuff? I heard Jason and Jimmy the eph- ephemera. Is yeah. ephemera, yeah. yeah. Well, Star Wars ephemera is yeah. like just anything that's kind of, you know, Star right. Wars. Homie's in at 30. We'll let related. that sit for a little while. Thank you, Homie. Anybody Thanks, else honey. in? Um, but it's definitely like the inserts and stuff, the right. the, uh, the the stuff that came yeah. with it. I mean, this would be cool. Uh, I've got some vintage inserts and those little booklets I, yeah. I like a lot. Yeah. I think I've, I've got a, yeah. I've got one from Star Wars, like the original. Like that would have been. Like, like 77, a, 78. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are, those are neat pieces to yeah. have. So Hami's in at thirty on this. We'll let it sit for a minute. It's not vintage, Tim. It's no. uh, it's nineties. It's Power of the Force two. Yeah, um, straight straight from the box. Things haven't even been applied, attached. So by this time, it was a different kind of plastic they were using on these bad boys. You can tell it's got the markings on the feet. Yeah. Um, the paint app on yeah, the feet is is uh. It's like the dirt. It's definitely meant to be indoor, not hot. So it looks like even like you know battle scar. You know, see the markings like scoring on it, um, but yeah. But the stickers have not been applied, as we said, so they're in here somewhere. As well as the manual, so you do, you can apply the stickers. I'm assuming they still stick. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm assuming they're not curling up off the sheet, but well, now are these these are a different type of? No, I guess they are kind of the same style. Thirty. Let's see if we got any other uh, offers that come in. Let's see here. 32 to Neil Good Life. All right. Thank you, Neil. You're in at 32. How many you in at 33? How many's in at 33? All right. What about it, Neil? Where are you at? I know okay. you guys probably see it a lot sooner than I do, uh, but with our delay, it takes a little bit. All right. Neil's at 35. All right. Neil's at 35. What about it, Jaime? So we'll wait and see. But this is a really cool piece. Again, fresh out of the box. All the pieces are here. Do what you want with it. So. You know, I've kind of got into... I guess the action works. Yeah, I would assume so. Is this just push this? Well, you have to unlock it. Oh, well. Slide, slide to the middle, right? Slide to uh, the other side. I wouldn't... Now, I'm not going to mess with it. Because yeah. it's never been done, and I don't want to be the one that breaks it. Jaime was at 36, and then Neil was 40. All right. Ah. I thought, I thought 30 was crazy for vintage, but you never know with Lucas Butler. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, I guess. I don't think 30 is crazy at all no. for vintage. No. no, dude, for vintage, easily 60. So, Jaime's uh, out. All right, Jaime's out. Let's see where Neil is in at. Neil's right. in at 40. Neil, you got it at 40, buddy. So, thank you. Uh, all right. Where we? Oh, that was an add on. ATST. All right. Put this over here. All right, our last piece of the day. Uh, let's see. Actually, before we do our last piece, I got one more. Uh, let's see. Is this where I can actually move? There we are. Set him where he's going to be taken care of. There we go. For new sticker sheet. Yeah, crazy. Yep. For real. Oh, yeah. Had it been vintage. Yeah, that would have yeah. been a oh, crazy, yeah. I got crazy discount. All right, Tim. <laughs> I'm like, what is he talking about? Yeah. I thought it was a pretty good deal. All right. So uh, back with our Chewy's Warehouse feature, uh, some other stuff that our buddy Jim's got uh, mm. on hand that you might be interested in. Uh, he's got the vintage collection, uh, Commander Wolf. Is it Commander or Captain Wolf? It's Wolf. Whatever. It's Wolf, yeah. They're at $15, uh, so you can claim those. He's got, uh, and these are limited quantities. He's got the special action f- figure set of the uh, 500, is it 501st? Art, Legion Yeah, Arts? it's the Art Troopers. Art yeah, troopers it's Rex and other stuff. How much is he asking for that? 150. 150. Yeah. Uh, and then he has uh, both of the uh, play sets. He's got the Carbon Freezing at 50 and then the Tandem 4 at 50. So, again, like we do with the Black Series, uh, and I'll show those to you again in case you're late to the party. Um, 
If you're needing any of these, Jim has those available at 20 each as well. I'll be shipping from Chicago, not from us here in Georgia. But if you want to claim any of those Black Series, 20, so whatever they are, and we'll write you down, send it to Jim, or any of these, uh, Wolf and uh, the, the Arc Trooper set or the play set. So. I'd like to play, while people are responding to that, yeah, go ahead. I'd like to play a game of, off-camera game of, is it a sticker, or is it a is it a air freshener, or is it a light? <laughs> oh, that? The the round thing under your thing. Is that a light? Round thing under my light? Oh, oh, those are lights. Okay. Yeah. So I've got little tea lights. Like those. Perfect. Yeah, to yeah. light up. And I wish I could find the Fantastic. little remotes that turned it on. Oh, it's remote control. Yeah, I'll have to find those for you. See, I was thinking of doing the same thing when I get mine set up. Yeah. So, all right. Any love on those things? Uh, you see them. Um, hopefully, um, you know, again, if you uh, are interested in any of those Black Series, just chime in. I know we had one Ray claimed, or if any of those uh, Wolves at 15, which is a good deal on those. And if you're still holding out on those play sets, here's your chance to get those uh, 50 apiece. I know it has limited quantities on those. So, all right. We're ready for our last piece. I which believe is? this is Snow Speeder. Is that, right. is that the only one over there? Yeah. Okay. So this is again from that collection, uh, Power of the Force Two uh -huh. Snow Speeder. Like sealed in the box. There are some condition issues with the box. Oh, major condition issues <laughs> with the box. <laughs> well, let's not oversell it. Okay. <laughs> no, there is some condition issues. I mean, there's dirt, like a dirt deal here, dirt here. I mean, the boxes, boxes kind of beat up, banged yeah, up, beat up. I was thinking about opening it, but I thought, well, it's. You know, it's an iffy opener as far as the box. I mean, it's still, I think, display, sorry, display well like this. Well, here's the thing. Because of the glossy finish on the box and everything, if you get Start a... Start at 45, so just be thinking about that while we're talking. If you get a 45. damp, and by damp, I mean barely wet yeah, um, paper towel or something, you can clean off some of those really dirty yeah. spots. But, it, I mean, you've got to be very careful, of course, doing it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, snow speeder. Everyone loves a snow speeder. Obviously, I guarantee I would have think that once you get it open and out of the box, it's clean and yeah, um, and the sounds and stuff will work on it and all. Yeah, uh, but it, again, in the box, sealed box has condition issues. You see that we're saying 45, 45. Again, feel free to double check us on our pricing there. Um, brought you budget. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Candyman does support us, no doubt, man. We're all in this together. Uh, so. And hopefully you guys have realized that with the cantina, it's all about community. So um, that's that's of utmost importance. All right, Jaime's in at 45. Thanks, Jaime. All right, we'll let that sit there for a minute. Anybody else in? I know, Neil, you like uh, ships as well. Uh, I know some of the others are in as well. T uh, Buster likes the ships. Uh, Tim, some of the others. So we're at 45 on the uh, sealed Power of the Force snow speeder. The electronic snow speeder. Yeah, and kind of give you a... That's a beater, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. And show them the beater Hoff. Here's a, here's a beater Hoff trooper right there for you guys. <laughs> He's been beat up, all right. <laughs> we got no food. We got no car. Our figures' heads are falling off. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's definitely a beater. Uh, so, all right. Looks like it may be just Jaime. We'll wait another moment because of our our lag issue. Um, but at forty five for the power of the force. Snow speeder, there he is. So. Lightsaber attack. That's right. <laughs> Sandy. Oh, give it, give it with a wampa for give, get it, give it. There you go. Give it with wampa, a wampa. There's Bill for, trying for to trip his head off, no doubt. So, <laughs> so, all right. Looks like I'm gonna call it for uh, Jaime. Jaime let let the wampa win. Jaime. Whoop. So Jaime. Congratulations, Jaime. Jaime. You've got a nasty box with a with an awesome <laughs> snow speeder coming your That's way. Right. Open it, brother. Just open it. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> you need dead bodies for your diorama, Tim. Hey, the um the thing about a lot of the stuff that comes out of this particular collection that we're we've gotten from this dude is food. that it is prime it is prime fodder to be opened. Oh and, yeah. And and the stuff in it is pretty well meant. I opened on my Geek Out Loud live stream the other day. Or for my Geek Out Loud live stream, I opened a bunch of 90s Marvel Toy Biz stuff that I bought from the guy. And so much fun to just have. It is kind of a, like it's a weird nostalgia for me because these toys, those 90s toys, came around right at the end of my period of time in life where you're actually getting toys, right, you yeah. know. 
to play with and stuff. And so it's, it's a neat kind of level of nostalgia, and it's a little bit of, hey, I missed out on this era of superhero toys. And so to kind of have a complete Fantastic Four, you know, with a Doctor Doom oh, and yeah. stuff, and to have some of the... Some of the other cool things, like you know, and and I've got that Punisher that's on the card that you know is actually in decent shape. That the Punisher, which oh that yeah. uh, Toy Biz, mm -hmm. Toy Biz Punisher. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot so. of cool ones, and if you know, even if the cards are shot, I mean, we've got some other stuff coming in the next couple of weeks from that collection um, that are still in the card, but there's plenty of those that are yeah. about to come off yeah. or whatever. So if you're interested in some of that Toy Biz stuff from the early '90s. Marvel, Spawn, which I know is not You've cool seen some of the... I don't know how much more Batman animated series stuff he has. It's quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mr. Freeze, uh, some of those well, guys. Yeah. So if you're interested, let me know. And we'll, go, we'll get that going your way. So, let's see the Blockade Runner. Says oh, you want to see the Blockade Runner? Uh, let's see if I can get to it real quick. <clears throat> kind of, who's, who's chiming in on the Blockade and That's Derek. Derek, okay. Yeah, so it's going to start at 50 as well. Put a lightsaber through a Force Awakens hand. Drilled a hole on my desk at home. <laughs> Zohan did that. It's a blockade runner. Wow. Yeah, and it's about the same size yeah. of the Star Destroyer. But it's, it, it's almost like Kenner was going to start a line, maybe, of these. Mm -hmm. And they started with these guys because they couldn't... I guess they didn't want to make play sets of them. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Again, I mean, here it gives you the perspective of what it would look like displayed there on the back. But they were... Need 50 for it. At least start at 50. So... Uh, for the blockade runner. Jaime says he has one. They're really cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, um, it may be in the next lunch sale if we... Oh, well, they're really cool. It's cool. Well, where did we go? That wasn't good. I'm missing our windows. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. Shoot a, shoot a message. Um, we'll be that. That one's at 50. Well, Steve, it's been fun, man, hanging out with you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been good times. Can I put in a personal plug here? Sure, always. For a couple of things. Um, I am I am looking for, on the okay. hunt for, um, a two things right now okay, in my so life. So this is ISO. In right, search in of. search of. Yeah. Um, one, I got the, uh, in the last sale we did in the cantina, I okay. bought from Corey Wilson the um, the mini rig, the ISP. Yeah, yeah. Mini yeah. rig, the ISP6. Mm -hmm. And it's in great shape, and it's complete except for the top fin on okay. it. It's like a miniature Imperial shuttle. Okay. So if anyone kind of sees a sees one of those for sale somewhere, if you'd kind of alert me either through the canteen yeah. or just tag me. And then I'm also looking for, and these were this was stupid. Like this is Hasbro's being stupid. Um, the they did an exclusive, and I don't know what it is exclusive for. Hulk, Gray Hulk. On a on like a retro Marvel card. Okay. Um, it was some weird obscure convention exclusive, and um and so it it look it's got a great face. It's a great looking Gray Hulk. I don't like the Green Hulk on the vintage cards or on the retro cards so much, but the Gray Hulk I do, and I'd love to be able to open him. So I'm not looking to pay a hundred right, bucks to keep him in a yeah. mailer box and you know yeah. and on the card. So if someone has a um. Has a bead on one of those, I'd appreciate you maybe shooting okay. me a message or, or tagging me in the cantina. <laughs> oh, I hear you, Tim. Life life does that to us for, for sure sometimes. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to give you a last glance at glimpse. It's what's in the warehouse, Jerry's warehouse. So again, if you're interested in those, just claim those in the feed or shoot me or, or Jim Arcudi a message. Uh, also, um, we've got the, uh, the Black Series 2 uh, here as well. And then we're gonna we're gonna finish out. We're gonna since it's new and I think it's kind of cool. We're gonna show the video again, and that'll be it. So, mm -hmm. guys, thank you all so much for joining us tonight or today. Hopefully, have a great weekend, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.